Welcome to my tutorial 3 redo. It's a remake of my tutorial 3 which is how to keep score. We're going to start by opening the tutorial 1a redo. And this is it on the screen. It's my 1a redo. And this is the using the flash 8. This can also be done in using CS 5.5. I'll just show you how to get started on that, but the script will be exactly the same, and I will be doing it with Flash Professional 8. In the CS 5, if you don't have this publish tab here, go over here and go publish settings and right here you want player 8 and you want action script 2 and this will work equally well as what we're going to do on professional 8 the select the oval or the highest next to the action script layer and insert a layer and call it text. Make sure all the other layers are locked. And somewhere over here, using the text tool, draw yourself a little text box. I got around a font of 11, which is good. And write in here score, score, space, equals. That's my score. Um, select it and make sure down here that it is static text. And just pull that line in. Get your tool again, your, your text tool. Make a little square. Make this one dynamic text. And in here type 00. zero selection tool and just roughly line it up with with that as with buttons and movie clips if you want to write script you got to give things a name so with the selection tool highlight this dynamic text and let's give this text a name and we're calling it score text we want this score text to increment each time we hit one of these objects. So open the actions panel and down the bottom where we have our hits right here. Insert a line and paste and type this. Score text score underscore text S C O R E capital S underscore txt period text the txt is blue equals we're telling that this text contains numbers not letters not words it contains numbers bracket and you can just then copy this and paste it in here a close bracket plus five colon what it says is whatever the score is before it was hit before the square hit the ball, whatever the score was, take that score and add 5 to it. If we highlight that line and copy it, paste it down here. So when the ball hits the rectangle, the same thing happens. And when the ball hits the oval, paste it here. So let's just see if that works. I didn't hit anything. There's five points for hitting that one and it disappeared. There's five for hitting that one and it disappeared. And five for hitting that because it disappeared. I'm going to keep this tutorial very short. This will work on CS 5.5 as long as you use the settings for player, flash player 8 and that you use action script 
too. I hope you learned from something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.